All right, welcome back to the post-game interviews. Uh, Co- uh, I'm Josh Bain here for the AHSAA. Coach, if you'll introduce yourself and the players that you brought and then make any opening statement you like about the game. Um, Coach Kent Pullington, this is Josiah Graham, number 23. This is 32, Christian Twyman, both seniors for us. The Lee really seemed to get you guys out of what you wanted to do, particularly in the first half. What were they doing that seemed to cause you guys so many problems? It really wasn't about what they were doing per se. They were just a lot faster than we anticipated. We couldn't get by guys where we're normally an up-tempo team. We get by guys, get to the paint, create space, cause things to happen, score a lot of points, and they really cut those angles off. And then on top of that, just quite simply, it wasn't our night. I mean, we've won nine straight. We really had some magic going. We've had some incredible comebacks along the way, and we've blown some people out along the way. Played our best basketball at the end of the year. Tip of the cap to Coach Brown. They just they were the better team today. And I'm just so proud of these boys. They just they've given me everything. They've given this program everything. I talked about last year, you know, laying the foundation, getting to a regional final. We got over that hump this year, and now we've set an expectation that we want to be here every year. So there's a lot to be learned from this uh, this moment. And I know we're, we're hurting right now, but we're going, you know, sun's going to come up tomorrow. We're going to get back to work, and we're going to get better. You know, their, their size and length really seem to be disruptive. Were they bigger all around at, at all five spots than maybe anybody else you guys have played? Yeah, we played Greenville, and I thought the coach was like, man, you know, like they didn't, you know, they weren't just incredibly long when this team came out. I mean, we knew that they were incredibly long, but we thought we could use our speed as an advantage, but it turned out they were just as fast and just as long, and if not longer, and they really were disruptive. Tay Fields was a really good player. Every bit is advertised. You know, I hope uh, the Brown kid, I hope Caleb Brown's okay. I don't know what happened to him there. He went out early in the first half. But, uh, you know, the guard play was so strong. The, you know, the lane kid, number five, he's just so fast, so good with the ball. And I'd heard about him in the AAU circuit. But uh, they're just a very complete team. It's a very, you know, good team on paper. And they're even better on the floor, obviously. So, you know, tip of the cap to them, they were, they were the better team to die. For, for, for both of you guys, for both the players, um, that wasn't the outcome you wanted today. But you guys, as Coach pointed out, you won a regional championship. You were one of the last four teams in 5A. Um, can you just reflect – on the season that you guys have had and, and what this team has accomplished? What well, maybe you first, Christian? Um, it was a pretty good season. It wasn't the outcome we wanted. Um, we made it to a Final Four. A lot of teams can say that. You know, I'm proud of us. What do you think, Josiah? Coach, in the, in the second half, you guys seem to – sort of stabilize what, what you wanted to do? Were there specific points of emphasis that you guys talked about it at, in the locker room at halftime? No, we just needed to run our stuff and get good looks. And we started getting the ball inside, starting to play inside out. We were able to get the paint a lot better. But, you know, the first half they just swarmed us so so bad. And they just, I mean, we didn't kind of lost our way in that first half so bad. And then we kind of had to sub and make the game crazy. But even then, we haven't seen a team that sound and taking care of the ball in the half court. Usually – we're able to disrupt teams, go to a one-two-two two trap here and there, go hot trap pressure, you know, get counts, get five second counts, take charges, and they just really were sound with the ball to the point where they could play keep away the entire game if they chose to. So uh, we'd never seen that before and that level of skill. So that's just, I mean, they're a really good team, and I, I think, you know, I definitely don't see any team really if they stay if they play like that. And it, it seemed like in the first half, you guys tried some different things to disrupt them, but each time it seemed like they, they had the counter move for it. Did you see it in a similar way? Yeah, basketball is just a game of handling, game of skill. You know, your handlers, your skill, your size, your length, that's ultimately going to be the difference. And they, they had great handling. Their guards really took care of it. Ryan Anderson and number 15, I think Dexter or something. They, they're, they're really good. They're great players. So, you know, I mean, it was just not, you know, I, I go back to, uh, Early in the first half, I think one of our players tipped the basket, tipped the ball in. You know, it just it just wasn't our day. You know, sometimes it happens. You know, I asked these guys about the, the accomplishments of of your team this season, but can you expound on that and just what you guys w- were able to accomplish throughout the course of the season? Yeah, I mean, we had a twenty point discrepancy. We averaged seventy, gave up fifty. I mean, we were able to go twenty two and three up until this point. Won nine straight games. Won our area by thirty. Won our sub state by thirty was able to be regional champions, 
we've been to five straight regionals, this uh, five straight regional finals. We were able to go to, a, you know, a final four this year. Hadn't been back since 2018. And this is all my years, you know, year two. And these guys, year two with me. And I mean, what they have, what they have created, you know, their legacy that they've created, you know, all these people coming to support us, all, all of our supporters, our community, it's a special place. And I told them they created, you know, younger Josiah's, younger Chris's that are going to come along and they're going to get to this stage and we're going to get over that hump and we're going to go win a state championship. And I, I'm just so proud of what they've done, what they've been able to do throughout the course of this season under so much adversity. I mean, we had to take two or three weeks off at Thanksgiving and come back and open up with Tal Digger, one of our best rivals in our area. And we end up winning 81 to 80 in overtime. This guy makes the game winner. I mean, it's just there have been so many great moments that they're going to take with them for the rest of their lives. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Congratulations on your season. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Great job today.